and in this video I'm going to show you that how you can fix the XML sitemap error practically I was working on this website and I found this error let me show you uh, not this one actually this so this is very common error while working on WordPress website so where does it come from actually let me show you uh, in Yoast SEO if you click here on general and then features okay go to features and then here you can see XML site maps okay if you click on here then here you can see the sitemap links but the problem with that here is this bad error alright if you search in Google then one very common answer you which you will find in either video or in any web pages so these are the solution that which you will uh, find the first solution which you will find that go to functions.php and remove white space white space so this is correct most of the time this error comes when there is white space in your function.php so in my case I'm going to function.php so this must see panel and then no not this one actually uh, here I was working now. okay here so I'm going to my functions.php in C panel WP and then themes then this is my child theme okay now I'm going to functions.php so normally the suggest the suggestions that you will get that okay go to the bottom of the functions.php and if there is any white space normally what happens like this okay so if there is an extra white space then remove this and the error is gone okay but in my case you can see there is no any extra white space so in spite of this these things and also sometimes the white space can be in the top of the function here also sometimes you will find so if there is space like this then still you will get error okay but in my case you can see that there is no any white space below or above not even in my main theme this is my main theme and I also checked my main theme and in main theme function there is no any white space either so you can check here there is no white space and below also there is no white space still there is no any solution for that the second answer which I got that go to config wp config okay wp config dot php which is normally sorry config dot php so this file normally is oh this not the cpn sorry okay so if you go to the main website and then config.php then not even in my config.php I'm not opening this because uh, there is database connection uh, there okay so in video for security reason I cannot show you that but I've checked that there is no any white space in the top and in the bottom also all right so now what is the solution the third solution is that activate and deactivate all the plugins one by one activate and de deactivate all the plugins on one by one and then check which plugin is causing error but it is very very difficult particularly when you have a large number of plugins installed in my case there are around 30 to 40 plugins installed for this website this is a large website okay so it's very difficult to activate and deactivate and check uh, uh, each uh, plugin so the last solution that 
which I got and this is really very effective this is the, that is the last solution this is not the first remember you shouldn't try this you should first check this one and also the second step should be this one and also if you have less number of plugins then better if you do uh, it's better that activate deactivate and check which plugin is causing error also sometimes in the plugin itself if there is any custom plugin then inside plugin itself there is some white space that also cause this error so you try all these three or four steps first if nothing works if nothing works in my case all these uh, solutions I tried but didn't work any of these then the last solution which worked for me is let me show you so that it may help you uh, I wrote a just I created a file white space fix you can give any name it's not necessary that name should be like this and then this is the code I will paste this code in the, in the uh, bottom of YouTube YouTube in the description section so that you can uh, copy from there and then what I did go to index.php index.php and edit it and here I just had commented I tried I had tried this before actually said so now including the very first line remember just after this just after this starting PHP and then just include that file now I just saved it and let me show you that how it works now I'll refresh it and you can see it is working perfectly so this is foolproof and the last method which you should try if nothing works then you can try this one so I'm just going to uh, upload this video in YouTube and also I will paste that core into the description section so in case you face similar problem you can use this code and solve the problem though it's a very small problem but it causes a lot of problem because you know in Google webmaster if you want to submit then you cannot submit unless this problem is fixed so hope you like this video and so uh, keep connected and, and uh, please don't forget to subscribe and also uh, click on the bell button so in case in, uh, you need uh, such videos in future then you may get notification from YouTube so thanks for watching bye bye